All right, so I am going to work the problem on slide 11 of our chapter 18 notes. Um, we're going to calculate the pH of a buffer solution um, made using acetic acid, that's 0.1 molar, and um, sodium acetate, that's also 0.1 molar. So for these problems, we're going to start by writing our equilibrium reaction. Um, and we're just going to start by writing acetic acid reacting with water. And that's going to form hydronium H3O plus and the acetate ion. So in this equilibrium problem, we're going to have to use a rice chart for the ultimate goal of determining the pH of our buffer solution. So that's our reaction. We have initial change and equilibrium. So in our problem, it states that we have 0.1 molar acetic acid, so that's going to be my initial molarity. We're going to cross out water because it's a liquid. Our hydronium, they do not state it in the problem, but that means it's going to be a zero. And then for acetate, it tells us that it's also initially 0.1 molar. So now for our change, we're going to do our x's. So reactants are going to be minus x. Products are going to be plus x, plus x, and then we can fill in our equilibrium um, x expressions. So now my next step is to write my equilibrium expression for this reaction. And since we are producing an acid, that means that we're going to be using Ka not Kb. So Ka is going to be equal to our hydronium concentration up top multiplied by our acetate concentration and that's going to be over our acetic acid. Now typically in these problems Ka would be given to you or you'd be able to consult your table Ka for this guy happens to be, let me look it up, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So we're going to go over here and swap in our x's into our equilibrium expression. So it's going to be x times 0 0.100 plus x over 0 0.100 minus x. Now, since our Ka is small, we are going to ignore it. And we're not only going to ignore it on the bottom, we're also going to ignore it on the top. So this x goes away, that x goes away. So now we're left with, let me write my Ka, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 is equal to 0.100x over 0 0.100. Now since we have 0 0.100 on both the top and the bottom, we can actually cancel both of those values out until we are left with the fact that x is equal to our 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Now in this problem, why do we care about x? What are we using it for? Remember, x is our hydronium concentration, which we can use to calculate pH. So after you figure out hydronium, next step is to use our pH equals negative log of H3O plus to give us our pH and we'll plug in our 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 value into that. So pH equals negative log 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And we 
solve for that, we get that pH is equal to 4.74, which is a lot of work for that tiny little number. So in our next couple examples, I'm actually going to show you a shortcut so that you don't have to do a rice chart every time you want to calculate the pH for a buffer. So that's what you have to look forward to.